everybody, for Clever King here today with a review of the LEGO City train station. It is set number 60050, it is ages 5 to 12, and it consists of 423 pieces. Four of which including straight track. Whoa! Here are the five different LEGO minifigures that you get in this train set. Here is the front of the first minifigure, and here is the back. Here is the front of the second LEGO minifigure, and here is the back. Here is the chef, and here is the back of the chef. Here is the fourth LEGO minifigure, the front, and the back. Finally, here is the last LEGO minifigure, the train conductor. And here is his back. This set also comes with a bike and a little bike rack. And I think it's a really cool little build. I also like that they give you this color of bike because they don't give you this color of bike in very many sets. This set also comes with this yellow taxi. My favorite part of the entire taxi are these little taxi logos on the side. There's also a taxi logo printed here on the top, but it's actually a sticker, not print. Here's what the front of the taxi looks like. Here's what the first side of the taxi looks like. Here's what the second side of the taxi looks like. And here's what the back looks like. And this is what it looks like when you take the top off the, th the cap. There's room for two people as well as a little trunk for luggage. The train station itself is actually quite long, 50 studs long to be exact. That is bigger than a 48 by 48 base plate. So this is what the front of the train station looks like. So basically there's these two pillars on the side that just they go up but then they slope down to the main building and then it goes back up and it has like this canopy where the train drives right under. This is what the back of the train station looks like. The full train platform is raised about two studs. And in this set there is a total of four straight lengths of track. Although you're probably going to need to buy some more LEGO train track because with all the track that comes in this set, the white passenger train can only fit two of his cars on there. I really love the middle of this set because it's got another support coming way up. And then it's got the awning the whole way down the train station. It just makes the train station look that much cooler. This is what the roof of the train station looks like. Very plain because I guess most LEGO City people don't see the roof of the train station. They just see the main part, the base. Here smack in the center of the city station are the main entrance doors with a stickered brick, I was going to say printed, that says City Station. Above the entranceway is the double sided clock. This is what the back of the main entranceway looks like and there's actually some stairs walking down to get into the train station. Moving from the entranceway we have the snack bar. Here's what the snack bar looks like. Here is the counter where they have this like little glass. From the back here you can also see the coffee pot, a couple food item items, some drinks, and the computer. Right next to the snack shack there is this garbage can. Up here there are two different menus. They both say menu at the top but the one's kind of hard to see because there's this sign blocking the way. So once we remove that, the menu is easier to see. It looks like it's got the item and then what's in it written beside it except you can't really tell because they're just shapes. There's also a security camera here to protect from bad guys. Here is the back of the kitchen and it looks quite a bit different from the front of the kitchen. From the back you see the back of the computer screen and the other side of the coffee pot. Here in the very far corner of the food snack shack there's a piece of pizza and some more drinks on another counter. At this end of the tra sta train station it's like this piece here which is really cool it's part of the de decor of the train station. We also have a map here and an ATM machine. I think it's an ATM machine. Either way, they're pretty cool. The computer piece is printed while the tile or the map piece is stickered. Also at this end of the train station, there are some steps. Moving on from this to this side now, we have the little gift shop. Here at the front of the gift shop, we have huge floor to ceiling windows. And these windows are actually really cool because they're sloped windows. They're not just standard floor to ceiling, they're sloped. Also in front of the souvenir store, there's a bench, two seats with a little table in the middle as well as another garbage can. There's also a second security camera. Here's what the inside of the souvenir shop looks like. And guess what? It's literally just selling Lego. I love this store. 
They have this Lego logo here on the top, this little slope piece, so kind of when people look up, they see the Lego logo, and underneath they have a bunch of different Lego sets. And by a bunch of different Lego sets, I mean two different Lego sets. There's also a counter here. It's a cool slope counter. There's one Lego set on it, as well as a computer to track the purchases. This end of the train station is really bare. There's absolutely nothing there. I guess if you want to customize it and make it your own, you could put something here. Also, along the whole length of the train station are these lights the whole way down. Above the snack shack and above the other store on the very far end of this train station, there are these little signs. It's a photo of the train logo and it's a city center 5 minutes, airport 10 minutes. It's like a departure time. They are double sided and, as, and the same on both sides of the train station. Thanks so much for watching this review. I really hope you enjoyed it. This is a really, really cool set. It is quite a lot bigger than I thought it would be. I actually thought it would be a quite a bit smaller, but when I built it, I built the platform, I'm like, oh my gosh. I didn't expect it to be that long, so I mean, it's a pretty cool set. Don't know where I'm going to put it in my city quite yet, but it's a cool, cool set. Thanks everybody for watching this video by me, BrickLover18. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my LEGO YouTube channel for more LEGO related videos here on BrickLover18.com. It is all LEGO all the time. Don't forget to check out my website for all the brick at BrickLover18.com.